called Echoes 360. Uh, this is a uh, video on how to create a basic page template for an HTML5 class, uh, page. And this is mostly for my uh, Web Fundamentals class. Okay, so we're going to use Dreamweaver. Uh, you can use a different editor if you want. Uh, Dreamweaver is pretty nice though. It has IntelliSense. It's really designed to do web development. And it's available not only in the labs, but through the virtual lab, which you can link to for home. So I'm going to start by creating an HTML page in Dreamweaver. I'll go to the File, New. Come on down here and uh, pick HTML. Now this is important, you want to set this to HTML5. A lot of times when I open this, it's not, it's XHTML. So go to the drop down list, find the HTML5, and uh, hit create. And so when you're in Dreamweaver, you have three different views. So right now we're in code view. Split view will show me the page over here and the code on the left and design view will just show me the page. Right now there's no content in the page that's why it's blank. So I usually like to work in code view uh, occasionally I'll work in split view but mostly I work in code view and our goal is to learn the HTML5 markup language so uh, that's going to support that the best. Alright let's start right off by saving our page and uh, what's going to happen in all of your web projects is you'll have multiple documents, usually two or three, that are all linked together. So it's a good idea to group them into a common folder. So I'm going to go to File, uh, uh, Save As, and then I'm going to come on over here. Now this is something I used previously with Dreamweaver, and so uh, that's why it came up. So I'm actually working off of my mounted Google Drive. If you're working in the lab, you're going to want to work on your UC file space directory or a flash drive. Generally, you don't want to work on the C drive because then you end up leaving your work. And uh, that's not a good thing. So that's a public machine. And there's no guarantee that it'll even be there when you come back. So you want to get together some sort of discipline about how to work. Okay, so I'm going to create a project directory now. And this is going to be HTML5. And I'm going to make this work with my video. So this is going to be part one. And then within that directory, I'll go ahead and save my uh, file. Now it turns out that uh, the file should be called index.html. However, this is not going to be a finished page. This is a template. So I'm going to call this basic template.html and I'll go ahead and save it and now notice in Dreamweaver it's showing that this basic template and there was a little asterisk there before to show that it hadn't been saved that's gone now so it's telling me that the file is up to date and saved so this title is going to be something like Tom Wolf's UC file space page and uh, you'll want to use your name there of course and so then I'll go back and save again again notice how the little asterisk is gone now and you know one thing I forgot to do is to make sure that my font was set at the right size for the videos you don't have to do this but uh, it looks like it's okay I'm just gonna real quickly check that so edit <clears throat> preferences come on over here where it says fonts yeah 22 is fine I usually is 22 or 24 for recording uh, that's not something you would have to change that's just so that this will show up nicely on the video okay uh, I usually get rid of this blank line it's kind of annoying I don't know why the tool puts that line in there uh, that separates the body from the head so the basic HTML structure we'll talk about in class, but you have an opening and closing HTML tag that creates a container. And then within that container, you have a head and 
and a body. And generally what happens is all the content for the page will be in the body section and what we call meta information will be in the head section. So let's go ahead and uh, pardon the pun and add a link to an external style sheet here. So this is going to be a link tag and notice how the tool picks up and shows me some of the things. So first thing I want is relation equals style sheet. Notice how the, the tool is kind of predicting what I want there. That's really nice. And uh, I usually give this an ID, although it's not necessary and we don't really use that. And I'll just call it main. <clears throat> and then uh, we need to indicate the type. And then uh, we want uh, text CSS for that, okay? Finally, we have to tell it where the file is. And I always forget if this is source or href, but it looks like it's href, yeah. So href. Now, what I'm about to type is the name for my file. And if this is in the same directory, it will just be uh, the name of the file. And usually for the assignment, I say WF, Web Fundamentals, main, dot CSS. Okay? I've gotten a fair amount done here. Again, there's my asterisk, control S to save. And uh, just to go ahead and show you here, let me go ahead and go to my working directory. So Google Drive, HTML5 working, HTML5 part 1. There's the file that I just created, basic template HTML. Okay? All right, let's go back into Dreamweaver. We're going to create the WF main file real quickly. So, file, new. This time we want CSS. And uh, you don't really need to put anything more in there, just hit create. And then we need to save this. Save as. And then again, this should be WF main. Everything is case sensitive. One thing I'm going to suggest is try not to put spaces in the names of your web documents. You're also not allowed to use any crazy characters, so avoid punctuation characters. That'll throw things off. Okay? And uh, then let's go ahead and take another look. So here are the two pages that I've created. One's an HTML, one's a CSS. And the only thing we've done so far from the basic template that Dreamweaver gives us is we added the link to the style sheet. Now, uh, notice that I have a title here. That title won't show up. If I go to Design View, it doesn't show up. That'll show up in the uh, title bar of the browser. So, for instance, I can go here. And if I want to preview in Firefox, I'll do that. And uh, let's see if that's going to launch. Sometimes it doesn't work here because of the way the... Uh, uh, that's a little odd. Oh, there we go. So notice Tom Wolf's UC file space page. That's where it's showing the title. But I still don't have any content in here yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave Firefox open. I'll just go ahead and minimize it. And that's going to be a little simpler for me to move back and forth between Dreamweaver and that. You can view the page in Design View. At a certain point, that'll kind of break down and it won't work very well. So uh, once you start to get a lot of content in there, you have to kind of use the browser to preview the page anyway. Okay, uh, let's add some... Uh, content here to the style sheet and so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, apply a background color so we'll have something we can see so I'll say body and then I'll have to create a uh, block to put my style selectors in and notice as soon as I start that Dreamweaver prompts me so what I want to do is I want to set the background color here. So back. And notice as I do that, it starts to IntelliSense. Whoops. I uh, jumped out of that for some somehow. Let's try again there. 
you know what, I hit the side arrow instead of the down arrow, and that's what happened. All right, so I'll come down to background color. It's background dash color, space. Always put a space in here for readability. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use yellow here, but you can actually grab this color and double click on it and select the color this way. And uh, in HTML, these colors are written as hexadecimal triples, which you'll learn later. But for right now, I'm just going to use yellow here. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so that's all I've done. Usually I just leave this on the same line here. Uh, eventually I'll add more style rules in here, but right now I just have the one. I'll go ahead and save my file. And now if we come on back here and click on the template and go to split view, uh, that's interesting, it's not showing up. Let's see, I saved everything. Let me make sure I have it right there. Body, background color, yellow. Yeah, usually this is going to work. Let's uh, go to the browser real quick and see. So now I have to reload the page. There we go. So I got my yellow background. Okay? All right. Uh, I think this is probably enough for right now. Uh, let me go ahead and save this video. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to take our basic template and create three more templates. And one of those templates will be for an HTML section style page, which are used for your uh, student website assignments in this course. Another will be for um, an article style, which we won't use too much. And then the third one will be a jQuery mobile template, which you will use a lot in the course. Okay, so I'm going to call this a video wrap, and uh, then we'll go on and do more here directly.